people. Me and Alan were so excited to eat Wagamama's because they have that here. We've just seen it's closed for a further chance, so that's a fail. I think I'm just going to go get something for Pret and then we'll get some snacks, do some duty free shopping, and then we just get on the plane. So I can't not wait to watch Carol. I think it's on the flight, and I've been wanting to watch that for months. I'm sitting with the luggage now as Alan went to get his food and I'm so jealous. Look what Alan managed to get. He found the Gucci loafers that we both want duty free and they didn't have my size in any of them. They didn't even have the green but in black they didn't have my size either but we got the guy who served us, his name was Paolo, we got his card. And he said next time to let him know when we're coming and he can order things in. So I'm thinking we're going away in July, um, but I don't know if we'll be in this terminal. But if we are, I might message and see if I can get him to bring in the green loafers. So I'll see how that goes. It means I have to wait to get them until July, but it might be worth it because they're only £355 duty free. Whereas in Harrods, they're like £75 more than that. So it is worth it and he got a great deal. We've got a lot of stuff down here, but we've got so much leg room, and the TV is in the side here, so it comes up. I've never sat with so much leg room before, so I'm really excited, and we've got two windows. How good is that? One each. Okay, I've got my little TV up. How cool is this? I've never had such a good seat ever in my life. Woohoo! Leg room! I'm just planning which movies I'm going to watch. I love movies, so this is the perfect in-house entertainment for me for the flight so I'm definitely gonna watch Carol definitely gonna watch Creed that's the new Rocky film I really want to see that uh, none of those really appealed to me seen Lady in the Van don't really care for that Pan nah uh oh Revenant see I am tempted but I'm so I scream so in films that might be not a good thing to watch on a plane maybe Spectre oh for god's sake keep pressing Oh, oh my gosh, Suffragette, I'm, that's, that's number one on my list, definitely. Okay, Suffragette, Carol, and then we'll see what else, but, oh, Spotlight, oh, there's so many good options. Whoa, it's so dark, are you excited, Alan? Yes. <laughs> that's believable. Can't wait. Yeah, he's excited, he's about to film a time lapse. Alan's vlogging this whole trip, I'll link his vlogs below. Sorry? I said you're vlogging the whole trip, so I'll link your videos yeah. below. Every single day. Yeah, we're both vlogging so every day, but we're gonna try to get multiple perspectives like we did for Paris. I love that we've got these two windows.
Hi guys, we've made it to New York. We're in our hotel room. We're staying in the row, which we've stayed here twice before now, or just once? I think twice before now, and we've really enjoyed it. Our room this time is a little bit smaller than last time, but it's okay because we're going to be out most of the time, and it's still a really good hotel with what's in it downstairs and stuff. There's like a little um, kitchen attached to it called City Kitchen, and you can get food and stuff there, and they have such great options for food. Um, and they have dodo nuts, which are one of my favourites. So I'm feeling a little bit sleepy now. I think it's nearly 1am or oh, what's it, over 1am in London. Didn't sleep on the plane. We had such a good plane journey. As I said, we got upgraded and I'm really, really happy with our seats. It felt like we were on a train rather than a plane. So that was a great experience. And now I think we're just going to pop out, go to Shake Shack. But first I'm going to show you a quick room tour because otherwise it's going to get messy. So it's best to do it now. So when you walk in, this is the room, as you can see, if it will focus, it's really, really small. The window there doesn't have a great view. Last time we had a really good view of H&M Tower. This time it's just another wall, so we've closed the blinds, nothing to see there. There's Alan looking really happy. Are you tired, Alan, or not really? A little bit tired. Me too. So then there's the bed, bedside table, full-length mirror, which is great. And then this wall, they have really cool, like, designs on the walls. And then we have the bathroom just through here, but I can't see where the bathroom light is. Um, but yeah, it's just a standard bathroom with a little bathtub and a shower. And there's me. So yep, yeah, that's our room. The craziest thing happened on the plane. Should we stay? Yeah, the craziest thing happened on the plane. And one of our air stewardesses actually watched some of my videos, which I was stunned at. I think I probably went red. I was shocked because it's just so random. That's never happened to me before, so that was really cool. And she was very nice, very nice to meet her. Um, so that was bizarre. And I'm still kind of functioning that whilst being a bit tired, but it's all good. We're gonna go and eat some delicious food now, and then we're gonna get to sleep. So when you leave our room, this is what it looks like. It's a really cool hotel, as you can see. And then these are the lifts. Then the way the lifts work, you just say which floor number you want to go to. Oh, it's floor one, right? So one is ground. So H. So then we get into lift H and that will take us to the ground. Wrong. I'm just like, I think I'm stunned and shocked. I've wanted to come here for so long now. Also, look, I've got kind of some spots on my forehead, so hopefully they go away. Me and Alan look ridiculous on the streets of New York. We're both just holding these tripods filming. But it's all in the name of a good cause. Hey, Shake Shack, woohoo! See how it's like right opposite our hotel, which is great. It smells so good. Yeah. I'm not. So I've just been thinking, I think one of the reasons why I don't feel like we're here is because I just feel like I've gone home. It just feels like it does a normal day at home, which feels peculiar. I don't really know. I think I'm tired, maybe. I wonder if tomorrow I'm going to wake up extremely hyper and in shock that we're here, but it's been months and months of planning. It's been months of planning this New York trip and to finally be here ordering Shake Shack on our first night. Crazy! Okay, so we're back in our hotel. This is in the city kitchen, like seating area. Got a great view. It still hasn't really hit me in New York. I think it doesn't help also that we come here every time when it's freezing and it's so mild out that it just feels really, really different. So I've got a lemonade. There you are. 
burger and fries. I'll show you the burger more in a minute. Okay, this is better. I can show you guys now. Look at this burger. Oh my god, it's so good. I've been dreaming about this for weeks. It's amazing because it's salted with caramel. Another cool thing about this hotel is they've got these like steps where you can sit on cushions and watch TV. Last time we were here, they had this really cool Frank Sinatra impersonator come in, and then he was like singing live Frank Sinatra music with like a really cool slideshow in the background. So that was fun. So I think I'm going to call this vlog a day here because I'm absolutely knackered. So we'll see you tomorrow. I think we've got to expect for these vlogs a lot, a lot of food and lots of Eva saying how excited she is to be in New York. Right now it just hasn't hit me at all. So hopefully tomorrow I'll wake up really excited. I think I've said that a few times now but I don't even know what's happening. I'm so tired. So we will see what tomorrow brings. I don't know if we've got any plans. It depends on the weather. I'm so itchy. I need to go wash my face. Okay, bye guys.